Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. Today we're going to try something really exciting. We're going to play around with static electricity and use it to turn around a plastic bottle, which is going to behave like a corona motor. A simplified form of corona motor is what I'm going to show you. Here I'm applying static electricity to the outside of this water-filled bottle. Now, as you can see here, it's running off of a very low amount of power. And I'm going to shortly turn the power up so you can see the difference. So say there's positive ions on this side, those get repelled by this electrode and then pulled towards this negative electrode here. And the same for the negative electrons, the negative charges that come from that electrode. So let's have a look. We're gonna add power and see how fast we can make this thing move. Now I'm only putting a little bit of, very little into it, because I'm afraid the magnet might not hold all of that water. But you can hear the hissing of the static electricity and you can see how fast the bottle turns it also moves all of that water with it. So it's not a trivial amount of force, it's enough to drive this heavy bottle filled with water. Now I'm going to repeat it. I have a similar setup without the water, and it was actually suggested to be by Archangel to try this. Archangel from um, Archangel Tesla Core to see if it will work with an empty plastic bottle. And I just happened to have this, um, this one lying around and figured I'll stick a cork in it, put a little ball bearing in it and see if it would do the same thing. I don't have the common ground though, which is the water or foil on the inside. Typically Corona motors have foil on the inside of the uh, rotor. Lights, camera and ready for action, here goes. We're gonna put in a couple of thousand volts. As you can see there, it goes really well. Let's try that again. Nothing but a cork, a plastic bottle, a bearing, and that's it. Finally, we're going to end with a regular iron motor, as you can see here. I'm just running it off of a very low voltage, probably around a couple of thousand volts. And there's enough corona blowing off the sharpened ends of the corona motor propeller to make the thing run. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.